Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you saw, Jimmy and I had a very boring day the other day. Pun intended, of course, we machined this Chrysler 318. It's actually a 5.2 liter Magnum V8 out of a Jeep. Um, and the surface has been decked. Everything's, or sorry, the deck has been surfaced. Everything's ready to go to actually build this thing. Um, what do we got left? Well, we've always talked about all the small things add up. Usually that's kind of a negative because all the small things you got to build to get your car done is usually something to hold you up. But in some cases, the small things actually add up to a lot of good things. In this video, we're going to show you two easy engine building tips that do add up and create something that is going to be beneficial not only to your engine, but also the lifespan of the internals. Uh, so what are those two things we're talking about? Well, chasing threads and deburring uh, casting flaws in here. With that guys, I'll show you what we got going on. All right, so if you look here, you got all these different threads here for your cylinder heads. You got stuff up in here that your this is for the roller rockers that sit in here. You got all these threads in here. Well, dirt builds up in there, oil, grease, and all that. It's always a good idea to chase those out and get all the grime out. Why is that important? Well, one, everything here gets torqued down to a certain spec. If they're dirty, if they're nasty, you can't get proper torque specs in there. You won't have head gasket sealing. You won't have this thing holding in there. You don't want things to come to loose. Not only that, you really don't want to run something down there and there's a bunch of dirt and bottom it out and not have the ability to get the bolt or screw, whatever you're working with in there. So that's an easy tip right there is just chasing these threads. I'll show you in a second what tool we're going to use to work with that. The next thing is, well, it's casting flaws. Take a look here in your oil galley. You see all that fine casting flaws in here? Well, what that is, this area here, is when the oil comes up and splashes, there's that pan and all that there, and it's supposed to run back down onto your internals, down to the oil pan. You want the oil back in the oil pan, but not only that, you want it to hit your camshaft and all that. With all these sharp edges and all that, it's not going to evenly roll in there. It's just going to kind of splash around and drip. So what we're going to do is we're going to deburr this to make sure oil drips properly. For this, I'll show you the tool real quick that we're going to use. It's pretty simple. It's a die grinder. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go through these holes and clean it all up so the oil actually runs down kind of like a waterfall and go from there. Now I'll show you the tool we got going on for chasing the threads. All right, so as you can see, Jimmy's already started this. Um, but what I use, it's an icon set. Uh, you can pick this at Harbor Freight. It's actually a good quality tool. Um, I use the Irwin handle with it. And basically, this is the SAE set. They do make metric. Um, but what we're doing here is just going through and chasing everything out to get all the dirt out and dirt and grease. Comes with all kinds of different taps, even dies, even their own handle. I just prefer using the actual uh, Irwin handle, which is here. And if you look here, you can actually take this off and put it on a ratchet if you really wanted to. Comes apart like that. So yeah, those are two real easy tips on helping protect your engine. You got an investment in here and it's a lot of time. It's also a lot of money and you want things to perform well. You want everything to work well. So yeah, guys, clean up your castings, chase all your threads, a little bit of insurance, a little bit of engine building tips. So with that guys, we're gonna go ahead and get to work on this. So if you noticed here, I've got my tool here and Jimmy's got his. Jimmy's had this one for a really long time. It's actually nice. I've used it quite a bit is what he taught me on. But if you look, it's got a longer handle, with it, which is more leverage. When you have more leverage with that, well, you know what? It's easier to spin. Um, in a lot of cases, you see people using drills and all that. Preferably, we don't like doing that. You want to feel the threads. You don't want to push something in there and cross-thread it. Um, we're kind of the old-school method of actually using hand power versus electric power, rotary power, whatever you want to call it. That has its place, obviously, like a die grinder, but in some cases you want to use what you were born with, and that's well, your hand. The problem is these threads are bottoming out. Yeah. So if you ram it in there with a the drill, you run a high risk of snapping the tap, and believe me, you do not want to have to cut the tap out of there, because so, that's not cool. So yeah, kind of the end of the game. Take your time. Be, right there be careful. Out. Like you see Jimmy just bottom out. You just be careful. Clean everything up. Go from there. So as you can see, we got some work to do and I'll catch up with you soon.
Well, wiped out. It's been a couple long days with Jimmy, either machining engines, doing some after machining work, whatever you want to call it, we've been extremely busy. But as you saw in that video, all the little things, well, you know what, they do add up. Unlike other previous videos where we talk about the little things where it just consumes a lot of time and can get you behind on your build, these little things actually do add up in a really good way. Um, at the beginning of the video, I explained how we chased the threads and explained how we ended up cleaning up the oil galley so the oil runs over smooth to get rid of all that casting flash. A couple other things that we had in there that I didn't talk about. Since we did have this surface decked, uh, Jimmy rechamfered the bolt holes on the heads. Um, and on top of it, he saw him sanding with a block. He wasn't going any pressure at all. It's just the, the pressure of his hand. What that was doing was deburring anything around those holes that he chamfered. Um, every single hole we chased, got a whole bunch of gunk out of this. John did a really good job of getting all the plugs out of it, getting all the things, degrees cleaned. He did a really, really good job on that. However, as you can see, you're always gonna find more oil. You're always gonna find more grease. Um, you saw us run a big brush through that. You know what, guys, that wasn't anything fancy. If you like to hunt and you need to clean your tools to hunt, well, that's what we have. It's just a big brush for that, very economically cheap. A lot of times you can find them at a garage sale, thrift store, whatever. And you know what, it works well, as you saw. So we went through all the oil passages, even in the mains with that brush, cleaned all that out, deburred all that stuff, chased every thread, cleaned up anything you can ever think of on that. Um, flipped it over, did the same thing. It's really important that you do that. Like I said, you want these things to torque down properly. And if you got a bunch of junk in there, it's just not gonna work correctly. You want proper torque readings, you want proper torque specs. You got a lot of time, you got a lot of money, you have a really good investment in going into your engine builds. You might as well do it right. Yeah, it takes a couple extra hours to do all that work, but it really does pay off. In this case, the small things are a good thing. And you know what guys, next step we gotta do with this, well, we need to finish hone it. We've machined it, it's bored, it's the surface or the deck's been surfaced, everything's cleaned out, threads chased, well, Next video on this is we're going to finish hone it, put the correct uh, cross hatching in this per the rings. We'll kind of go over that in the next video. And then it's going to go in the hot tank. And then from there, guys, it's going to come out. We'll get some cam bearings slammed in it. We'll get the freeze plugs in. From there, guys, it's ready to assemble. Long day, long hours. It's been busy. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. You know what that, guys? We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.